Hello and welcome back to episode four of the Oldham Days with me, Jay Wower. And before we send you over to Grey Wower for the catch up, let me tell you all about some ins and some outs in the transfer market. Welcome to January. This is the Oldham Days. So as we know, Jack Stobbs and Ben Tollett were wingers and they were on their way out. Jordan Windass, he hadn't played for me at all. So I thought, let's let him go. Let's let him go. So let him go, I did. Uh, and Conor O'Reilly, again, hadn't played for me. And he was getting 250 275 pounds a week. What's the point? If I'm not going to play him, don't keep them around. I've got too much debt at the club. Right. You were here for Timmy Subawale, who... Let's cover his stats. Oh, you can't see my hand. Well, you can see his stats, eagle-eyed viewers. He's been amazing! £925 a week, well spent. Pat myself on the back. What a find. 20 years old, Timmy Subawale. Welcome to the club again. What a superstar he's been. Ryan Cassidy, you were also here for this, for the arrival of him. Goals, uh, seven in all competitions. Seven in seven. Seven in eight, if you count the payments off the bench. Ryan Cassidy, welcome to the club. 525 per week. Again, yeah, money well spent. Florent Hotty, um, the Kosovan. Look at him for non-league. I'm in the way here for his uh, his positives because his his positives out. Oh, you, oh, you can see him up here. Um, so you can see them here. Um, but you can see his negatives here. But anyway, anyway, he is. Good player for most Van Arama national sides. Potential good player for Sky Bet League 2. Uh, he is really good. Um, he came in. He's got sent off. He's assisted in a goal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Doing me out of a job. Giving all the stats and figures away. You'll get, you'll get your chance. Just chill. Do the transfer update. Might as well have the day off. Mitchell Roberts, who we did have in on loan, his loan finished. We signed him on a permanent basis for £600 a week. He was listed, he was out of contract in the summer. So what transfer fee have we offered? Nothing. We have offered them... What did we offer them? 30% of any future sale? So if we sell him for 100 grand, yeah, 30 grand of that's going to go elsewhere. So what? Realistically, he's a good player he's got a bit more potential in him he's worth 160 to 250 22 years young quite versatile mitchell roberts welcome back to the club and that's it for the ins and outs if we look at the finances we are only spending 26,000. the committed spending is 25,539 because i've set some young players for release so I could go and spend another £3,000 on players in the next 10 days, but I don't think I need to. Why is that, I hear you ask? Well, don't let me tell you all about it. There's a man. He is the paralysis of post-match analysis. Uh, Grey Wower. Yeah, thanks, uh, Grey Wower, for that unique introduction. Up tomorrow's better. Yes, as you as you saw last time, three one against Solihull Moors for Oldham with Ryan Cassidy scoring two goals. The new signing bedding in fantastically well. That was followed up with a two one win against Torquay. Um, an hour had gone before the uh, deadlock was broken, and it was Junior Luamba who nodded home from a lovely cross from Jordan Clark. Torquay did pull one back almost instantaneously. Hansen down to Moore across and Goodwin nodded it home as well. Two headers, two goals, about a minute apart. Well, Cassidy from the spot broke the heading consistency deadlock. Scored with his foot and yeah. Holden 1-2-1. One, one. The XG for Torquay was 2.32 with only four shots on target. So... Can Oldham count themselves lucky to have won? Quite possibly. And away at Wellstone Well in the first... Oh, here we go, look at this. 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14 seconds in, Cameron Thompson scores. 14 seconds it took Oldham. And at the start of the second half, it took Wellston 26 seconds to equalise. 27, 28. The goal right at the start of each half, right at the start of each half. Alan Hope runs through. Thompson steals in instead. 2 1. And to make it 3, Thompson pulled it back and Hope tucked it into the near post. Do the haircut. And we took a break from the league action to face Cheshunt in the FA Trophy. And Chris Porter headed home after 19 minutes. We had to wait until the second half for the deadlock to be broken again. Mitchell Roberts into Luamba, who hits the post, and Ryan Cassidy tapped in probably the easiest goal he will score all season norman kicks it up long nodded on and cassidy he was in and he just pp upped it into the box and just volleyed it home three nil and for some reason that is why didn't we see the second goal there there's a problem houston we've got a problem ignore all that rubbish Chris Porter, 1-0. All right. So this is the, this is the ever-elusive missing goal. Tani Mowo out on the right, uh, right-hand side there. Plays it through to no one. Burgess, back to Tani Mowo, who runs down with the wing with it. Very forgettable, this was. Yeah, look at this. What's going on? How long is this highlight? Right, uh, another header. Brilliant. I'm not going to cut that out. I'm going to show the edit. I'm going to show the glitch. All right, get out of this. Absolute shambles. 4-0. Uh, they battered them. And here comes the first of two games back-to-back -back against Notts County. The scheduling um, machine. Having a nightmare. Mikey Fondop with a lovely finish on the hour mark. Or close to. And as you can see here, plenty of yellow cards and a red card for Francis Angol. Uh, a fine for the Oldham team. £750 for failing to um, adhere to... To failure to control their players, I think they said. £750 fine. But at this level, bloody lot of money. Um, this time, we just didn't have Mikey Fond up getting the goal. Nil-nil against Notts County in the uh, reverse fixture. Just, a, just, just but a few days later, still five yellow bloody cards. No red card though. No highlights either. And in a cagey match against Dorking, it was actually Dorking that broke the deadlock. Eager coming through and what a goal. Bends it into the top corner and you think, that's got to be goal of the month, right? It's not even goal of the game. Let me just wait until... Because Gardner gets it and bang! Take a bow. If you disagree, that wasn't better than the first one. Shut up. And anyway, Cassidy breaks through. Hooks it home. Hottie with the assist there. Fantastic. Debut. Off the bench. Gets an assist. In a 2-1 win, you think, this guy's going to this guy's gonna do the business. Until you realise he got sent off here. Eh? Tit. Anyway, FA Trophy against Yeovil. Uh, Francis Angol comes down the wing and whips it across. And Thompson finally buries after 86 minutes. And you think, that's it, game over. No, Yeovil, 88 and a half minutes gone. 89 minutes, basically, by the time it goes in the back of the net. Fisher comes through, tucks it away. Nothing Magnus Norman could do. Putting through was like a knife through butter. Extra time. Bear in mind, we're still at, we're at 10 minutes at this point. Thompson comes through, pulls it across. Mikey Fondop, 2-1. In control. No such luck. At the, at the end of the first half of extra time, Torre plays it in and Scrimshaw. I mean, I mean, what the hell happened here? Scrimshaw, it was saved. Linton saved. Carnage, goal. 2-2. Replay three days later. And at this point, yeah, both teams are down to 10 men. Hunt nods home. Uh, Yeovil went down to 10 men in the first half. And then about 10 minutes later, Angol got sent off. So two red cards, 10 men apiece. Bond up with the equaliser after 71 minutes. Is he going to be extra time again? Nah. Hunt off the post and he comes back and he, he, he knocks, knocks it home. Hunt knocked it in. It was a bit of carnage, as you can tell by my stuttering. Yeah. 31 minutes, Perry gets sent off. Francis Angol after 42. No, oh, sorry. Sorry, Francis Angol. You got injured. No, it was Cooper that got sent off on the stroke of half time. My mistake. Francis. Do apologise. It was you that got sent off in the other bloody game, wasn't it? 
And Rooney whips in the ball and Sabawale gets his first goal for the club to open the scoring against Southend. And it was 2-0 very shortly after. A bit of a calamity at the back and Thompson steals in and makes it 2. And that's how it finished. 2-0 after 20 minutes, 2-0 after 90 minutes. End of catch-up. Thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Grey Wower. I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much, Grey Wower. Pleasure as always. Professional as always. So we're back against York and Aldershot as promised. If we have a quick look at the league, well, we're 14 points clear of Solihull Moors who are in second place. We are 20 points inside the playoffs, which is exactly the target this season. Mike Fondop's on a 7.5 average rating. Now, Andrew Dallas has got 28 goals. We've got no one anywhere near the top goal scorers. 13, both for Fondop and Junior Luamba. But we've got the best goal difference. And part, part of that, I think, well, we have got the most goals for. I will, I will concede that. We have got the most goals for. But we just we have, hands down, the best defence. Okay, Gates had only conceded two more. But they've conceded twenty. They've, they've scored twenty three less. That's why we're doing so well. Look at us. Barely even see who's behind us with that far back. How far away are they? Very far away. Also, what I will say, gang, is I've managed to tie a lot of players down to new deals. Oh. There's a few players that aren't going to be signed to new deals. Chris Porter. I don't too old for me really he's probably got he could be maybe decent for another year but i think for 900 pounds a week i can get someone considerably better for that money so i just didn't want to spend the money renewing his contract especially at that age hallam hope he wants far too much money he wants about 1300 pounds a week again i don't think he's better than the players that we've got he's been decent this season but it's not like he's getting like an eight and i think i cannot do without this guy most other players, I've managed to get them for a paid pay cut. And I'll tell you what you do for that gang. You go, discuss new contract with agent. And when they say this is what they'll want, you say, that's a bit too much. They lower their demands. It has worked for every single player I've done it to. And they have yet to see it blow up on my face. I'm sure it does blow up in your face at times. But it's worked, which is why we're paying so little for our squad. So here we are at home at Boundary Park to York City, against York City, should I say. Last game, last episode, um, two fantastic performances in the league and a very disappointing one in the Cup. Today it's just two games, York and whoever, Aldershot, was it? I think. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can kick on and continue our excellent form in front of the cameras. Ballerfield now. Ballerfield comes down the wing. Oh, John Lewis. What's he doing up front? What are you going to do? Half time. Bring on Debenhams. Born. Cassidy. Cassidy's in. Should finish. Does. Dinks it into Luamba, who knocks it home. 1 0. And the team that I've got, I've got them secured for another year. There's not a lot I've got to do to, to go up. I'm going up, as it stands. Is it too soon? I think if I'm, if I'm walking the league this, this um, dominantly, I think I will be able to stay up next season. And hopefully being up in the upper league will yield... Higher transfer values for some of my players, which I can sell. So we'll see. Cooper with the corner now. Slouching in my chair. How unprofessional is that? I'm a manager. Oh, Luamba's through. Well, finishing like that's not going to make me sit up straight, is it? Tit. Oh. Find another, find another gear, please. Richardson now. Into Sharon. He tries the magnificent and doesn't achieve, doesn't achieve his end goal. Ross out now to Sanders. Greaves. Thomas. 
Reeves. Oh, Norman with a save. Fantastic. Not on left now. Oh, God, anne has got an injury. Oh, God, no. Final highlight in the last minute. Norman. Big kick up fails. Go on, make this our highlight. Get an assist, Norman. Oh no, Duku. Off the post, get rid. Just get it out. I've just gone balanced. Hoping that it just stops the highlight. What's this? We're well over time. Norman, get it out. Just big kick. Huge kick. Referee. Thank you. Oh, nervy last couple of minutes there. Okay, so Oldham against... We're away at Aldershot and we're underway. Get the early encouragement out there. They all love it apart from Hottie. Frustrated by the feedback. Never mind. Aldershot breaking away now with Butterill. Justin. Hottie with a great challenge. Clark. Back to Hogan. Let me tell you something, brother. Oh, he's in. Vaughan. Bond up. Oh, Ashley Hammond. Ash B. Hammond, sorry. He's right prescription. Yeah, and everyone's name's wrong there. As Cameron Thompson's been rubbish, so Ryan Cassidy's going to come on. That's the only change I'm going to make at the half time. Oh, got a bit of a sneezing fit there. We're back. And we're in with, with a highlight. Cassidy, he's off the bench. He wins it great. Brilliantly wins it. And then... Oh, so frustrating. I suppose it's what you get you expect at lower league, isn't it? Oh, Mike Fondop's doing awful there. 6.2. Get him off. Peru, though. Singular striker up top. I don't think it's going to work. Rooney, though, delivers a free kick. Hogan. Rooney. Oh! John Rooney! With what can only be described as a P-roller. It somehow finds its way through the crowd and into the back of the net. Here comes Hollywood leg drop. Bang! And was that a deflection? Not the best angle for that, but we will take that finish. We will take that goal. You don't shoot, you don't score, especially in this league. If you are struggling to score, gang, my recommendation is just put shoot on sight on. Because the goalkeeper is going to make more mistakes than not. If anyone's having troubles in lower leagues, try that. Justin Amalz Amalazor pulls it back. 1-1. One, one. Hogan's missed interception. Thinks he's, done, thinks he's done his job. He's tagged out. Oh, these wrestling jokes are never going to get old, are they? He'll retire soon. Probably get, probably, get, probably get the rock in at centre-back after Hulk Hogan leaves. Right, so we've drawn one all. That's disappointing, really. Not the best episode. Still 12 points clear, though, as you can see. We are 21 points now inside playoff places. So, there's not long left of the season. Six, 16 games? When are we going to be back? Solihull, Moors and Wrexham feels like a good one, doesn't it? They're fifth, they're fourth. Gateshead a second. I can't bother coming back that soon, though. I think Solihull, Moors and Wrexham, because then 15 points. We, that might, we could be about to sort the league if we carry on with this form. I suppose what I'll do is I'll try and come back to see when we secure promotion or... Well, promotion is the league title, isn't it? I don't know. Let's we'll put a pin in Solihull Moors and Wrexham. End of March, start of April. That could be when we're back. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Take care. See you soon.